One of the challenges of creating our arena fighting game, uh, a lot of people wanted to use graphics to represent the hero or the monster in the game. And that's not too, too hard to do. You can use a, a J label uh, and use the icon feature. Um, but there is a problem if you want to resize the image. Um, image resizing is not that simple in Java. You can't just sort of say fit this in here. It's not that automatic. Um, so on Stack Overflow there's a great answer to, the, to that question. How do I resize an image to fit inside of a J label? Uh, I'll include this uh, link here in the notes. Um, so basically there are ways to do it. There are other ways to do it but they have some issues and so this person here, David Krukamp, has written a, a short custom method that uses the buffered image class to and the graphics 2D class to make to uh, make the change to the image. So what I've done because I'm not using a buffered image, I'm using an image icon. I've taken that same code and I've uh, sort of wrapped it up with an image icon uh, return value and an image icon parameter. So it's the very same thing in the middle. Let me just show you how it works um, all together. So I'll walk you through this. You can kind of just cut and paste this and use it as is if you want to. Um, first of all, it does return an image icon and it takes an image icon and these this it doesn't modify the original one. It send, returns a new one. So that's how this works. So you can see in my uh, description there, it does return a new icon, doesn't change the original. That's uh, generally a good thing. Um, and it takes in a new width and a new height as the parameters. So if you have a, a very large image, you put in smaller values here and it'll shrink it down. So here's how this works. First, it makes a, kind of a blank image here that is the correct width and height. And then there's a little bit of stuff here about uh, getting ready to make the changes. And then it draws a new image over top of uh, on this sort of this canvas that image is going to be the original image icons image and it will be at the new width and height from zero to width and from zero to height um, so it's going to create a blank ca canvas to work on and then it's going to paste the old image in at the appropriate scale and it can uh, shrink or stretch or, or draw this with the, the same aspect ratio without um, distorting it at all depending on what values you put in here and then it makes a new image icon out of that uh, buffered image and returns it and that's it that's how it works so make a canvas and paste your old image in at the appropriate scale and then return uh, a new image based on that canvas so that is um, that's how to do it if you know the width and height that you want um, another version of this I've just scrolled down here very same code in the in the main part of this here um, but what if you wanted to resize by scaling it so I want to double the size of it or I want to cut it the size in half or I want to make it 75 percent of the original size um, so I've re redone this the parameters here you can see this one takes an image icon again but then it takes a single value here where the old one took two values width and height this one takes a double that is a scale factor. So if you put in 0 0.5, it will make it half the size. If you put in uh, 4, it will make it 4 times the size. Um, this here is a short calculation. Grab the old width and scale it. Grab the uh, old height and scale it to get you your new height. And then the very same code is in the middle. Make a canvas that's the new width and height. Uh, draw the old image in at the scale value that you want and then return a new image icon based on that canvas. So this will maintain the aspect ratio so it won't distort things vertically or horizontally. So let me just show you how my game originally works here and then I'm going to use one of these methods to, to show you how it can modify the existing images that I used. My images, um, I, I resized them ahead of time so there wouldn't be any computation. They're exactly uh, either 150 wide or 150 tall. That's the size of my J-label 150 by 150. So you can see this one's fairly tall and slim and this one's sort of roundish. So that's the original one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my resize method to scale this by 50%. So let me show you that. My monster image, I have a method for getting that, for grabbing that to use. And so I'm just going to wrap that up with a resize. That's an image. All that gives me an image icon. And then I'm going to scale it 
by, I'm going to cut it in half, so a 0 0.5, and if you want you can put a D on there for double. F6 to compile and rerun that. And now my monsters will be half as large as they were before. And hey, he's a pretty small guy now, so I look, I look quite fierce. And let's see if I can defeat him. Yes, and there's my new monster, which is also quite small because, again, it's just calling the same get monster image um, method. But what if I want to use the other method, the width and height one? I'm going to make this one, this next monster, um, uh, let's see, width is first, so wide and, oh, let's make it, let's make it tall and skinny. So 25 and 250, so 25 wide. Normally it's 150 wide and uh, 250, or sorry, 150 tall, possibly, at, at most. The images themselves might be smaller than that, but they're no larger than 150 by 150. So this now we'll call other resize method because I've given a different list of parameters Java can tell. Oh, you can see what that's done. It's really squished and stretched that out, squished it horizontally and stretched it out vertically. So that doesn't look so good. So you got to be kind of careful when you use this um, to, to make sure that you're doing what you actually intend to. Let me just get rid of some of that other stuff here and restore my application to what I actually wanted. One other um, version of this method that would be great is what if I, I have that J label that's 150 by 150 and I get some image that's say 640 by 480 and I want to fit it into that 150 by 150 space. Wouldn't it be great to have a, a resize uh, method that took the icon and took in a maximum width and a maximum height but then scales it appropriately so it's a little smarter about what to do in here and how to scale um, based on the size of image that you get and the size of image that you want um, without distorting it. So that would be a great other method to write. You might need to rename it, not call it resize, if it takes in two integer values like this because otherwise Java won't know whether you mean this one with a new width and height or uh, this, this new one that we would write which would have a, a maximum width and height. Okay, hopefully that's good. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.